compare gas exchange in non-human animals. Gas exchange is the process of taking in valuable carbon dioxide to the cells for aerobic respiration and eliminating carbon dioxide, the waste products of aerobic respiration. Gas exchange occurs in order to um, promote aerobic respiration in order to get energy as ATP. It occurs in several ways in animals. This can happen as diffusion, as um, <clears throat> diffusion through the skin using helpful mucus, can happen as trachea with the help of gills or with the help of organ systems that include lungs and bronchi. Let's go through a few examples and compare. First, Simple animals only require simple diffusion to exchange oxygen for CO2. There are no organs necessary in this process. Because these plasma membranes are permeable to oxygen and carbon dioxide. An, organ such as, an organism such as the hydra accomplish this, accomplishes this passive diffusion or respiration in this manner. Second, earthworms in the phylum Annelida absorb oxygen and excrete carbon dioxide through their skin. And the skin is flooded with mucus, which helps with respiration. In arthropods, such as the grasshopper, there is a well-developed respiratory system that consists of tubules that open to the outside of the body. These tubules are called trachea and they are divided into smaller and smaller branches to allow for connections to all cells in the body. This system is well adapted and a super efficient way to get air directly to its cells due to the absence of a closed respiratory system. Moving on, fish Require, respire with the help of gills. Gills exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide with the help of a countercurrent. A countercurrent is formed between the fish's blood and the water entering the body. When water moves out, it also carries carbon dioxide with it. And finally, vertebrates such as birds evolved a respiratory system involving lungs and bronchi. They also have air sacs taking in oxygen right here and eliminating carbon dioxide through the trachea. Passive diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide occur in these tiny sacs similar to all complex mammals.